Yo, what is up guys, BY Gaming here and welcome to episode 6 of Fossil Fighters Champions. So today we are going to be diving into Mount Krakenak, which is a volcano dig site on Cranial Island. So last episode, just as a recap, we basically took on the second round of the Calio Steel Cup tournament. We won that and now we are well on our way to potentially owning this entire island, so that should be really sick. Anyways, let's jump right into this, but firstly, before we do, please hit that like button, that really helps me out. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel for future parts of this playthrough. I currently upload them every Monday and every Thursday, so mark that on your calendars if you don't want to miss them. Also, also check out my Fossil Fighters original playthrough, which is now complete on my channel as well, if that is something that interests you. Anyways, let's hit story mode and get back into it. Okay, so it has been a few days since I've played this game. But now we are going straight into Mount Krakenak here, which is the volcano dig site. And if I'm not mistaken, there are some really awesome vivasaurs waiting for us here. So this should be very awesome. So here's Mount Krakenak, one of my favorite places in this game. But contrary to what I just said, I am not going to be digging here because that's going to be off screen. I feel like you guys probably aren't going to find that too appealing. So we're just going to go right ahead here. And ooh, there's Todd right there waiting for us. He beat us to the punch here. Hey, BY guy, you here to dig? This place is really awesome. There's tons of fossil rocks I've never seen before. Go ahead, throw your pickaxe down anywhere and see what you find. I knew you were here by the way the air suddenly filled with high-pitched squeals of delight. Oh, it's Rupert. And he's got a robot with him. Rupert, are you looking for fossil rocks for round three? Please, don't sully me with such accusations. My vivisaurs are already skilled enough to win round 3 with little trouble. No, I simply came here to run some field tests on a new product. Show me what you got, rich boy. This is... Dig R. Digger, get it? An automated excavation tool recently developed by Fossil Dig Inc. Okay, very cool. Good day, sir or madam. I am Digger. This robot contains built-in sonar and has the ability to locate and excavate fossil rocks automatically. It is an important product for our company, which is why my father asked me to perform the field test. The sales potential of Digger is almost limitless. When fighters see what it can do... Whoa, what the heck is going on here? You were saying? Digger will be released. Well, welcome, sir. Go, madam. I am... I am... 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 Please insert token, your call is important to us, I am error. Wow, that's such a great product you've got here, Rupert. Oh, what now? 404 page not found, bad command or file name, abort, retry, fail. Whoa, you okay there, Rupert? You took quite a bit of a fall there. No, 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 no! That idiot robot just ran off with my dino medals. And it's programmed with an automatic fossil battle system. I must stop it. Why would you put it on automatic battle? I just don't understand that. Ugh. Don't try to move. You took a real pounding there. Don't you see? If Digger starts randomly battling strangers with my vivisaurs, there will be chaos. The reputation of my father's company would be stained forever. I have to. I must. Ugh. I'll stay here and make sure Rupert doesn't hurt himself, BY guy. But you have to chase down that robot. Ah, uh, of course we have to, because we are the protagonist. And just like last game, every single thing in this game is up to us. Alright, Mount Krakenak here. Let's keep on going up. And man, I have to say, the graphics here are great. Look at that. It's really beautiful of a dig site here. Perhaps one of my favorite dig sites in the entire series, actually. But more on that later. A sinister feeling fills the air. Are you prepared for battle? Uh, you bet I am. I dug up a lot of Vivisaur parts last part, or the part before that even. Okay, so anyway, anyways, here, I meant. Green alert, fighter located, battle system I I initiated. It kind of sounds like me when I trip up over my words in this playthrough because of all the text. But anyways, we have Brachio at rank 2, Crypto at rank 2, and Tophis. At rank 2. I think this is the Gigantifus, which is a giant snake, prehistoric snake. But yeah, Crypto, I'm not even sure if this is a real dinosaur. And then Brachio, of course, we know and love him from the last game. 
and he's one of my favorite vivasaurs as well but this is an entire neutral team here and we should be able to take this down with ease because we've got three rank fours actually more rank fours four rank fours and one rank five actually so we're just gonna jump right into it with this team right here and you know just like what rupert said himself i'm also not really worried about round three of this tournament because of how over prepared i am but let's go this is by guy versus the robot digger and we steal the first attack let's go ahead and pound the brachio with a menchie stomp because we are so far away it's gonna do so much damage just take a look at this boom 85 damage on a crit it's more than half we're gonna end our turn right there and we're gonna see what this robot can do here digger all right crypto fang he's gonna stick it to us with that 22 damage not too bad all right pretty dope music though if i do say so myself all right let's go menchi stomp can we finish him off from here Yes, we got two crits in a row. Talk about lucky. All right. Very nice. Now we're going to end off our turn and wait for him to make his next move. All right, Digger, show me what you got. Snake bite. Yikes. That looks devastating. Then we got Crypto here. Crypto Fang. Yikes, now he's getting crits. Okay, but we are going to continue attacking with Menchi because we are at a good distance here. So we're going to attack Tophis with Menchi. Give him another Menchi stomp. I swear, Menchi has been taking us through a lot of these battles recently just because of how good long-range Vivasaurs are in general. Obviously, Menchi also has solo power, so in case he were ever fighting on his own, he'd be double as strong. Okay, we took another Crypto Fang. Now we're going to take a Snake Bite. That's not going to do much. Apparently, Tophis isn't a long-range Vivisaur. I actually don't know what class it is. I didn't pay extra close attention when I was looking at that battle screen, but I think it's probably maybe close range. I don't know. Anyways, boom. Another Menchi Stomp. One more and he should be down. And actually, let's just attack. Let's see. We have Pacro with Mother's Slap. Let's just hit him. Slap the snake here. And whoa! Literally just knocked him out cold. Okay. Very good. Now it's, it's just down to us and Crypto here. And, um, you know, that shouldn't be a problem. Because he's only ranked 2 and we can easily finish him off. Crypto Fang. Looks like he doesn't have his ultimate attack yet. But he's getting crits left and right, which is just insane. He's actually almost finished off our Tricera, who has been doing nothing this entire battle. So, let's see what we got. Tricera is pretty good from this range. Um, Menchi isn't super good from this range, but let's just attack with Tricera. Let's get Tricera to do something before he falls in this battle. Alright, some pretty decent damage. 34, not too bad. Then we got Mother's Care. No, 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 that doesn't do anything. That just eliminates status effects. It doesn't heal the Tricera yet. Mother Slap. Whoa! Looks like Pacro here has a high crit rate or something like that. But, uh, yeah. One more attack and Crypto should be down. And, uh, yeah, this wasn't really that big of a threat. But it could have been if we were underprepared for it. But, you know, we really just did our digging because we're trying to win this tournament here. Okay, Tricera just went down. And we are going to avenge him with Menchi. Obviously, we're going to use Menchi's second attack here. Menchi Slash. Why is it called Slash when he's just swinging his tail? I don't know, but it's really cool, nevertheless. Alright, Crypto goes down, and with that, we have finally shut down the robot here. Okay, we got five points for that. I'll take it. Very nice, and Menchi, the hero, is always here. I've actually never used him for any playthrough I've ever done of this game, so that's pretty cool. And, um, okay. And for some reason, that was all it took to reboot the robot. A beating. System failure detected. A winner is you. Reboot, reboot, reboot. System restored. Reboot complete. Full functionality has been restored. Well, I still wouldn't trust it, to be honest with you. Yeah, BY guy, way to go! Well, it says woo, but I'm not gonna make that noise. At least not right now. You did it? You stopped the robot? 
Er, yes, well, I mean to say, you should not have taken matters into your own hands. I'm sure I could have dealt with the thing myself. Yeah, sure, Rupert, you were knocked out. Still, I suppose you did save my father's company from complete financial ruin. Very well, when we launch Digger, I shall see to it that you receive the very first one. How noble of you. But this is a game where we dig up our own fossils. Come now, there is no reason for hesitation. This is what field tests are for. With proper modifications, it will never do such a thing again. You you will accept one, won't you? I love how my the protagonist here is just like, Nope, I, I don't understand. For a smart guy, you're really kind of dumb, you know that? We don't want a robot because it would take all the fun out of it. No fighter wants someone else to dig up fossil rocks. They want to do it themselves. Right, BY guy? I mean, I guess that is true. If I could just have a robot dig up anything I want in this game, it would be way too automated and I wouldn't have to try it all to beat the game, so it'd kind of be like sleeping on it. So, they have a fair point here. It's fun? Fun. Hmm. Come, digger, we must be off. I love how it's DI66R, but it's like, it's just digger, technically. Whew! I don't know about you, but I'm exhausted. I'm going back to Cranial City for a little nap. Todd, you didn't do anything this whole time. What are you talking about? Come meet me there, okay? And make sure not to stay out here too long. Okay, so we're going to go back and see what is going on there. But we're not going to dig here just yet. I'll probably do this off screen if I really need to. But um, yeah, right now we're just going to head on back. Right now, whatever the game throws at us, we can actually handle because we over-prepared our Vivisaurs, so I don't really need to dig anyway at this point. But there are some Vivisaurs here that I want, so I will be back. Just like Arnold Schwarzenegger always said. But anyways, we're going to go back here and exit this dig site. I could have just teleported back, now that I think about it. But, um, yeah, I guess I just wasn't thinking at all. So let's just get out of here. And uh, it was kind of cool anyway, just to be able to see the scenery and whatnot. But anyways, we're back to Cranial City here. And uh, what's going on here? Hey, did you hear? Someone just stole the Mammoth Vision video screen. I guess they have a backup unit, but still, why would anyone want to steal something so big? Well, now that you mention it, how did anybody possibly steal the Mammoth Vision? Hey, here comes the Mammoth Vision now. When I was a kid, I always laughed at this. Hey, did you hear? Someone stole the Mammoth Vision. <laughs> Uh-oh, there it is. What's this ominous music? Whoa, fools, bow before Don Boneyard, the one true leader of the Bare Bones Brigade. Whoa, what is going on here? Enter protagonist, or antagonist, I should say, sorry. Bwah, this park at... Hey, wait, forget digging at the volcano, for I have blocked the path. Your cup will soon be no more. Bwah, bwah, ha, 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 ha. Anyways, well, I guess I missed out some of the text there, but basically the idea here is that this guy is causing problems at the cup now. So, uh, yikes. Did you see that, BY guy? It was Don Boneyard, the leader of the Bare Bones Brigade. Those guys are the biggest, baddest crime syndicate around. What the heck is going on here? You there, little one. We have trouble, yes? Vlad. Mount Krakenak, it is no good. A large rock has blocked it. I must I must get to the dig site, but cannot. This rock, it is too large. You are a fighter, yes? You have, how you say? Axe pick? Maybe you can break rock. Vlad tried to break, but no good. Okay. You will be doing this thing, yes? I will tell Terry. Okay. Looks like we have to go back to Mount Krakenak and... Take a crack, no pun intended, at that rock there. You think you can break the rock? I love how we're just like, yeah, no problem, man. But what if the Bare Bones Brigade... Oh god, here comes the stomach ache again. Ooh, my stomach, it hurts again. I shouldn't have eaten that sushi from the discount cart. You have to go on without me, BY guy. I'll catch up when I feel better, okay? Yeah, right, Todd. Yeah, right. You just don't want to do anything. Anyways. Let's go to Mount Krakenak and, uh, you know, take a crack at this rock here. Apparently, they tried to stop people from digging here. So, okay, let's try and dig here. See what's going on. Yikes. The boulder seems unbreakable. Hey, BY guy. Todd, how nice of you to join us here. Yeah, that's a big rock, all right. I don't think we can do anything about this. 
I admire the tenacity. I mean, you're good and all, but this thing's on a whole different level. Why not just get a Vivasaur to destroy it? Now that I think about this, that never occurred to me as a kid, but why not just summon a Vivasaur and get it to flatten the rock? I mean, we have a Menchi, who is literally a Mementisaurus, must weigh like 50 tons or something like that, just crush it. Anyways, at this rate, we'll all be old and wrinkled before the boulder is gone. Rupert, nice of you to join us. Rupert. Stand aside, children. You're kind of a child yourself, gotta say. But anyways, Digger, please remove this boulder. Alright. Do your thing. Of course, sir or madam, it would be my pleasure to assist you. Okay. Digging program initiated. Digging, 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 digging. Alright. Nice job, Digger. Very cool, it actually took care of the entire boulder. Holy smokes, look at that thing go! Digging, 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 digging! Error, file not found. Oh my god. Sweet caviar, it's running out of power and we're so close to completion too. Be careful, BY guy. What is going on here? Does sir or madam wish to assist Digger? No one has ever assisted Digger with digging before. Now I know why it is that you humans smile. My god, they're really just... Did they really just make a Terminator 2 reference there? But anyways, energy fully restored. Digging program initiated. Digging, 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 digging! Alright, nice. Go for it. Whoa! That explosion just destroyed my ears because I'm wearing earphones right now. You did it, BY guy! Excellent job, Digger. You have made me very proud. Whoever put the boulder here must still be in the area. I'm going to look for them. Let's go, Digger. I will obey, sir or madam. Alright, looks like we're on to the next part here. Let's keep on going here. Well, I guess people can get back to digging at Mount Krakenak, huh? Still, I think we should go back to Cranial City until they catch whoever did this. And we're just like, nope! Oh, come on! You want to help Rupert catch the boulder rolling culprits? But, but what if the Bare Bones Brigade... Not that I'm scared of them, I just, well, um... Oh my god, the stomach ache, Todd, you gotta give that a rest, man! Ooh, my stomach, it hurts! I shouldn't have eaten mayonnaise that had been left in the sun! <sighs> Todd... Sorry, BY guy, go on without me. You're making me not really feel sorry that I kicked you out of the tournament in the first round, but anyways, let's keep on going here. And uh, let's find out if the culprits are around. Kind of scary, but I kind of look forward to finding out what is going on here. Okay, let's go across the bridge here and follow Rupert up here. Mount Krakenek is a really pretty dig site. I really like the graphics in this game. It really has been improved on over the original Fossil Fighters. There's Digger. And where's Rupert? I don't see him anywhere. Okay, let's get on up here. Okay, there he is. Oh, it's BY guy. Be still, my heart. Well, from the looks of things, our hooligan friends rolled the boulder down from up here. I've spotted a few unpleasant types sulking about, and I've little doubt they're with the Bare Bones Brigade. Are you ready for battle, BY guy? You betcha. Let's go. Right, let's go then. Okay, here we go. Whoa. Scotty Bones. We're gonna show those fighters what the Bare Bones Brigade is all about. Haha. <laughs> yeah, there's no way they're getting past our awesome boulder. Actually, we've reduced your little boulder to pebbles. What? No way! How'd you break our beautiful boulder? Yeah, well, it doesn't matter, rich boy. Our bony sores are gonna make you pay. Bony sores? Oh, come on now. That's just absurd. Shut up. It is not. Bare Bones Brigade members get special skeletal vivisaurs called Bony Sores. They're horrifyingly- they're horrifying nightmares straight from our boss, Don Boneyard. And now, we're gonna grind your bones to make our bread. Ha ha ha. Think you can handle that one, BY guy? Um, I'll try. 
Here they come. Okay, so now we have to take on our first battle against the evil team here. BB Brigade Goon. Okay, so we have B Lambio. Yikes, at rank 2. But as you can see, these guys are very powerful for this point in the game. They have 26 attack each and 179 HP here, which honestly outranks us tremendously. So yeah, these guys are pretty powerful. And uh, I think we're pretty good to go here, but let's see. Let's just think about this. I mean, I could bring Raja and wreck everything, but um, actually, let's do that. Let's give Raja a chance to shine here, and let's jump right into it. Okay, Raja will have the elemental advantage, and he is very powerful in and of himself. So let's go ahead and do this. Here's this really dope theme here. And they have 45 speed, so we're going to lose the first attack. But this is probably the first real challenge of the game here. Yikes. Pretty scary that these guys have so much HP and attack at this point in the game. Whoa, holy crap. Slow down there, man. Alright, well, we are going to switch out here. We're going to switch Raja to the very front so we can do as much damage as possible. We're going to get some bonus here to our attack, thanks to Tricera. And we're going to go attack him with Raja Fang. This should do a lot. Yeah, he's almost dead in just one hit. Check that out. Alright. Let's end our turn. And let them do whatever it is they're going to do. I'm just jamming out to this music. Bony Chomp. Yikes, we're going to take some damage from that. 45 damage, yikes. This is a pretty challenging fight. Raja's almost dead. But we're going to be okay here. We are going to be okay. And after this battle, we're going to call it a part here. Okay, 109 damage per hit. We're really taking it to him, but even with this insane amount of damage we are doing, we're taking a lot of damage too. Uh-oh. Bony Chomp. Yikes. This could be it. We could be going down here. Yikes, Roger was just defeated. And he's ranked 4. I mean, I'm really glad I actually stepped up my game because the game just did a huge, huge difficulty jump just now. Because, wait, can we attack from here? Yes, we are actually at optimal distance. Let's do a Tricera combo. Now, we have a disadvantage type-wise, but we're at a good distance. We might as well just damage him from here. Boom. Okay, so one down. Two more to go. This is actually pretty wild. These guys are tough. All right, anyways, we're going to move Menchi all the way to the back so we can, you know, do as much damage as possible. And then we're going to attack with him next turn. We're going to start trying to do as much damage as possible using our long range advantage here. Yikes! Bony Chomp. Alright, let's do this. Yikes. 39 damage. Okay. Hopefully we don't take too much damage. But Tricera could be going down next. And the good news is potentially if he does go down, we're going to get to see... Menchi's solo power kick in, which is once he becomes the only Vivisaur on the field, he has double attack power. It's going to be awesome. Anyways, Menchi's stomp. Let's go. Boom. Okay, we knocked out the second one. Now it is 2v1, but Tricera is almost going to go down, so we could be in trouble here. Let's see, though. We have the advantage, though, with Menchi because he's at a distance, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what's going on here. We're still taking a lot of damage from the B Lambio here. And yeah, these guys are tough. This guy's just a grunt. Alright, let's keep going. Menchi Stomp. Let's do some damage. That's not very much damage. Yikes. That's pretty scary, actually. Okay, well, I think we can do this, though, because Tricera's gonna go down. He has Parting Blow activated, but looks like we didn't get to use that. I forgot to use it, rather. So Bony Chomp's gonna take us down. And just imagine if we hadn't actually dug up two parts for each Vivisaur at this point. We probably would have been doomed in this fight. But okay, there you go. Solo power, baby. Here is Menchi at his absolute strongest. As you can see, he's got 42 attack because his attack just doubled now that he's the only one alive. And we're going to do Menchi Slash. Boom. Okay, that's what we're talking about. That's some pretty decent damage there. That's like half damage. We should be able to beat this guy. And uh, yeah, that was actually quite a close battle here because yikes these guys were powerful each one of them had almost 180 hp at just rank two all right let's go ahead and do this menchi stomp let's hit him hard 
Okay, thank god for that solo power, because we're doing a lot of damage. Now, granted we are at suboptimal distance here, but it's still good enough. You know, coupled with solo power, we should be able to take this guy out. And Menchi is a titanic vivisaur, which means that, just by and large, he has a pretty generous amount of HP. So, we're not too worried about this. We can still take a few more hits, and I think this could be it. We could have won this battle with this attack here. Yes, we got a crit. And I love it. We just took out the BB Brigade member here. That is really a tongue twister. But anyways, we just... We really did squeak by for the win, and we got 10 points for that battle. So that was very fitting. Because it was quite difficult to win that. And uh, yeah, thank goodness that I prepared for that. Because I kind of forgot just how difficult that first battle really was with the BB Brigade here. No, we lost! They are completely unfazed by the horror of our bony sores. Not really. That was actually pretty impressive. Don't think your hot stuff are beating up a, beating up on a couple of lackeys. Our boss, Don Boneyard, is the meanest dude around. He'll turn your bones to jelly. Yeah, and Don Boneyard has three commanders that are almost as strong as he is. They'll beat you so bad your own mom won't recognize you. Ha ha ha. You're cruising for a bruising now, chumps. Just remember that you asked for it. Man, these guys talk really strange. It's kind of hard to keep up with the dialogue sometimes. Those two are full are full of tough talk considering we just pummeled them into submission. I must admit, the Bare Bones Brigade does manage to inspire a certain kind of awe. Yes, we leveled up! Very nice. Fighter level 4. Now we get 100 FP per turn and 280 FP as a max for how much we can bank. Very nice. Alright, so we did it. We saved the day. Hey! Todd, so nice of you to join us. Are you guys okay? Did the Bare Bones Brigade show up? Yes, but it was nothing we weren't able to handle. They run home to Mummy now. Man, I miss all the fun stuff. Maybe you shouldn't have so many stomach aches then. If it wasn't for this dumb stomach, I could have helped you stop him. Er, BY guy? Through the pains... Wait, though this pains me some to admit, that fight was not altogether easy. I'm not sure I could have handled them without your assistance. I owe you my thanks yet again. Aw, Rupert, are you actually being a bit vulnerable here? So then, thank you. Rupert, you just acted humble. Are you feeling alright? And why would you find it amusing that I offer thanks for a job well done? <laughs> it's just a joke, Rupert. Okay, we just got a... FMS, I think they call it? Or no, never mind. It's Rupert's phone. Hello, father. What do you need? Oh, wow. Rupert's dad is the CEO of Fossil Dig Inc. They don't come much bigger than that. Digger's field test results? I'm sorry to say that it suffers some fundamental design flaws from a consumer standpoint. Some problems could be overcome with extensive redesigns, but I fear most fighters will still have little interest. However, I believe it shows great promise as an emergency assistance robot. Yes, father, I understand, father. Yes, of course I will win the cup. Goodbye, father. Hold on, Rupert. You just said you could launch the robot so long as you made a redesign. Was that a lie? I never lie. I do believe that Digger's technical problems can be overcome given enough time. However, there is a larger issue at play which is that I do not think anyone will purchase the device. You have shown me that fighters like to dig as much as, much as battle. They seem to find it fun. That's right, you get it now. Come on, BY guy, let's get back to Cranial City. We can come back here and dig to our, heart, uh, our heart's content later, alright? Sorry guys, all this text is starting to make me lose my mind a little bit here, but anyways, here we go. Those two are quite the amusing pair. Okay, so back to town we go, and that is a good place to end this playthrough. Parts, at least. Well, once everything is all over and done with. Hey look, the Mammoth Vision is coming around again. Man, I hope it's not Don Boneyard yelling at everyone again. Never mind, after this cutscene here. It pains me to say, but I don't know this game inside and out, so I don't exactly remember what happens from part to part. But looks like the Mammoth Vision is back again. And we will find out what is going on here. Hey, it's Joe Wild West. Howdy, fellow Calio Steel Cup fighters. Now, y'all may know this, but... 
it seems we're being hassled by a band of thieves called the Bare Bones Brigade. They're telling us we gotta cancel this Calio Steel Cup and vamoose out of this park once and for all. Well, horse feathers to that. This here cup is my dream, and I know it's shared by y'all. So if they want me to cancel it, they're just gonna have to saddle up and make me. The Calio Steel Cup will never surrender. We'll beat them var varmints, or my name ain't Joe Wild West. And sometimes the text is very small and hard to read here. Okay, very nice. So Joe Wild West himself showed up again here. Yeah, you tell him, Joe. Yeah, get him. Saddle up. Okay, we got another FMS message. Incoming FMS message. The Calio Steel Cup Round 3 matches will now begin. Nell has been selected as BY Guy's Round 3 opponent. Please get ready, then check in at Cranial City's Fossil Stadium. Alright, I'll be waiting at the Fossil Stadium, BY Guy. I'm counting on you. Make sure you're prepared for anything before the battle. Okay, so that is going to be the end of this part. So, thank you very much, everyone who has made it to the end of this. This was part 6 of my Fossil Fighters Champions playthrough. I hope you enjoyed this part. I definitely had a blast playing it. We're going to go ahead and save now, because I haven't saved in more than half an hour now. Or about half an hour, I should say. And so, yeah, this has been very fun so far. And the game will take some time to kind of heat up, but... It kind of already has, so I'm really excited to start getting into the better parts of the playthrough. And once again, thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you have not already, that really helps me out. Also be sure to subscribe to this channel for future parts of the playthrough. I currently upload them every Monday and every Thursday. And that being said, this is BY out. Peace!